Hello everyone. So in this video, we try to learn what is rotation and how to perform image rotation in OpenCV. So let's start today's lecture. You can see that this is the original image and after rotation, we'll be getting an image like this. So we'll focus on how to do that and the operations involved and the library function that will be needed to perform this. Okay, so what is rotation? Image rotation is a common image processing routine with applications in matching, alignment, and other image-based algorithm. This means to say that we frequently use this image processing in different image processing applications. Now, the input to an image rotation will be our original image and the angle by, uh, by, means, uh, by which we will perform that rotation, that is known as rotation angle, and a point about which the rotation will be done. So this T are the input. First your original image, then rotation angle, and the point by which the rotation will be done. Now, rotation of an image for an angle is achieved by transformation matrix of this form. M cos theta minus sine theta, sine theta cos theta. You have to remember this. If it is a theory-based examination, then this question might be asked, and there you need to write this. But in our OpenCV, it provides scale rotation with adjustable center of rotation so that we can rotate at any location we want. So this transformation thematics that I have shown you, now that is modified and the modified transformation matrix will be this one. You can take a screenshot of this. Alpha, beta, one minus alpha, the center, x minus beta, center y, minus beta, alpha, beta dot center dot x plus one minus alpha dot center y. So you can see that there is a big uh, means modification performed to our original transformation matrix. And you notice alpha and beta that we can got we get with this two equation. Alpha is equal to scale dot cos theta and beta is equal to scale dot sine theta. Guys, I know that you want to know the practical part, but I'm bound to tell you the theoretical and mathematical part behind rotation because that will help you to have a clear understanding of, about this geometric transformation of an image that is rotation. Okay, you know that rotation is also a geometric transformation. And we are currently learning from the previous two lectures about the geometric rotations that we can perform with respect to an image. Okay, now to find this transformation matrix means this one. Okay, in OpenCD, we have a function and that function is cv2.getRotationMatrix2D. And the practical I'm going to show you there, that image will be, that means that original linear image that will be rotated by 90 degree with respect to center without any scaling. And if you want to know about scaling in details, you just need to search this in my playlist of digital image processing and this practical image processing in OpenCV. You will find that. CV2 get rotation matrix 2D takes center, angle, and scale as its arguments, and it will output that transformation matrix. So this transformation matrix is equal to CV2 get rotation matrix 2D, the center, angle, and the scale. Okay. Now, once the transformation matrix M is calculated, means once we got that our transformation matrix, pass it to the CV2 warp affine function. And 
it will apply an, a fine transformation to an image. Guys, I hope you recall that in the last lecture, I discussed in details about the affine transformation. And this CV2 warp affine, it has some syntax, right? And the syntax is DST is equal to CV dot warp affine SRC M the size DST flags border mode border value. Don't go to get confused with these too many different parameters. You don't need to remember all of them. In practical, I'll show you which are the more important ones that you need to just remember. So this will be the overall code for our operation of rotation. See, import CV2, you know that, to import OpenCV, then input that image, read that image, and keep it in image, IMG, CV2 inbuilt function. And I'm using, but I'm taking Lina image that is kept in Z drive, Kajiranga University folder, and then image data set, which is there, right? Then I'm displaying the original image. Then I have, you know, I'm using zero here, gray version. And then I have calculated rows and columns from this image with this shape, right? Then MCV2 that get rotation matrix 2D and calls by two, rows by two. Just recall that syntax. The first parameter is what? Center, you know, center, angle, and scale. Right. So now we are using what? The center as what? This one. Calls by two, rows by two. And this 90 degree and our okay DST CV2 warp affine image. Now I told you that you don't need to remember all the parameters of warp affine. Here, yeah, important one is this image, right? M, M in this transformation matrix and this calls and rows. Got it? Image, you know, image. M, that is the transformation matrix, and then calls and rows. Well, our task is done. Now we are ready to display our image after rotation with the CV2 show. And I know you know about CVT white key and CV2 destroy all windows. So guys, I hope this code is clear to you. Now I can show you the exact practical in our open CV. Right. Let me open my open CV. You open yours one also. See the code. You will see I'm just uh, okay now it is clearly visible I think. Import CV2 Image CV2 uh, imread function. Then I'm displaying the original image. Then rows and columns from image dot shape. Again, then this what transformation matrix with calls by two, rows by two. Then this is you know center and the 90 degree rotation we want to perform is one. And then DST CV2 warp find image. Image we have the first parameter M that transform matrix and then calls and rows that we have calculated here. Okay, then we are now ready to display the, what? That is means, uh, just a minute, undo, let's do, undo that. The image after what? Rotation. So let me display you the output. Let me execute the file. I have given the name rotation one for this file. Okay, it is running. See, this is the original image. You can clearly see this from this portion of code. Now, after rotation, the output will be this one. Yes, we have performed 90 degree rotation. So guys, I hope the concept of 
image rotation is now very clear to you and how to perform image rotation in OpenCV with this get rotation matrix function and warp affine function is now very much clear to you. So that's all for today. With this, Dr. Deepo is signing out and I'm going to meet you in my next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.